good morning everybody welcome back we are starting the vlog in a slightly unusual setting today i don't normally start them in my car today is like a big errand running day i've got a few bits to do i'm one task down already so i had to pick up a spare key for my car from audi i actually left it there two months ago when i picked up my car and do you know what i actually felt better about them having it. i was like yeah a responsible adult is looking after my car key if i ever lose mine i know where to go slightly nervous about actually having to look after my own car key but yeah i've got it finally after was it two months or is it three months god it's been a while i basically just haven't got around to going in there and picking it up because i'm just never really in that area but i was passing by this morning i also have returns that i am quickly nipping into brighton to do i have a few other bits to do whilst i'm in brighton so i thought i'd bring you along with me it's been a little while since i've taken you into town with me so i thought we could do that have a little wander around the shops it'd be really lovely definitely gonna get a coffee really looking forward to that so yeah that is the plan of action for today I'm looking forward to it it is a very lovely day as well super super sunny very warm very my skin is looking glowy and it's not my makeup <laughs> let's just say that you know perfect day for running errands so i'm very much looking forward to it is not the day for shopping it is so hot but i've picked up a few things which are going to be slightly torturous to try on they're basically all autumn winter things so we have this shirt this cardigan this cardigan which i love this coat which i'm obsessed with and then we have two blazers one black one khaki which are gorgeous I think this one needs to be more oversized. I think this is the small or the extra small. It's meant to be like a kind of more fitted cardigan dress. I think it needs to be a little bit more oversized for me to love it. What do you think? Because actually I don't mind it. Not with this. If it was oversized, I think it would be a bit lumpy. But if it was more oversized, I'd wear it as a cardigan. Whereas I couldn't really wear it as a dress. This could be quite cute to be honest. What do we think? Can you let me know? This is very cute, I love the colour. Oh my god, you guys, the shoulder pads on this is insane. I didn't notice that when I picked it up. You can kind of see it a bit more here. No. no. So I hate the shoulder pads, but it's definitely made me realise that I need a khaki blazer in my life. Not gonna lie, I'm very excited about this. Literally cannot tell you how good that is gonna be. Brighton has like zero in terms of like luxury shopping. It's not the one, so so excited for that. So we are done, I am back in the car for a couple of reasons. Number one, I spent a lot of money in the white company and now I need to stop and go home. But two, it is nearing three o'clock and I need to get back home before schools are out because that is literally like my personal idea of hell is sitting in school run traffic. So I need to get back home very quick. I've got a few errands to run on the way back, but I had a good nose through Zara and H&M. Quite a few things I liked from H&M weren't in my size, so I have ordered them. So hopefully I'll get to show you those very soon. Zara, I just wasn't in love with the pieces. They were really nice. Like some of them were 
really really nice i really liked the cardigan the little tweed kind of like chanel-esque cardigan but i just wasn't 100 so if you guys can tell me if you liked it and then i'll go back and pick it up and then the coat i just feel like it's too early but i did pick up a few bits so i'm going to show you what i got when i got home but before then i need to run an errand on the way home two errands actually let's pray that i don't hit the score run i think i'm going to i'm gonna have to have the tunes in the car i'm gonna need to be having a really good time in here <laughs> to get me through this also just went into Penhelegans. Penhelegans, is that how you say it? They do lots of fragrances and I see lots of the girls on Instagram talking about them. And this is one fragrance that I've tried on and it's like really oody and vanilla-y and so gorgeous. Not one that I've seen anyone on Instagram recommend though. And I'm a bit like, I definitely don't like the same fragrances as everyone else, but oh my God, it's so good. It has like a little like ram as the head or something like that. I'll try and link it if I can figure out which one it is. I've already forgotten what the name was. <laughs> I had a very good time on East Street in Brighton. If you want to go and like look at things but not spend money, East Street is the place. Like I love shopping on East Street, but I just never buy anything. It's got lots of like, it's got like Mac and Helligans. Space and K's up around the corner. I obviously spend money in there. All Saints, never buy anything in there. Buy stuff online, never buy anything in store. French Connection, best home stuff, never buy anything. Like all of those shops that you just like, look at things and ooh and ah at but never actually like spend the money it's just one of those really good like window shopping browsing streets you know i also got my coffee which i wanted to tell you guys there's actually these really cute girls on youtube that they dm'd me and they asked me my coffee order like a go-to starbucks coffee order for me and they were trying like different people's starbucks orders and i just thought it was so cute so i'm gonna link the video if you want to go and have a watch i basically just got the more everyday version of what i gave them which was i can't even understand like the things they write on this they show it to me sometimes like is this right and i'm like dude how would how am i meant to understand if that is right oat milk ice mocha oat milk ice mocha oat milk iced mocha <laughs> yeah oat milk iced mocha it's it's delish add a bit of hazelnut syrup and it's banging anyway a b c d e f g i've got to go because my uh, thighs are sticking to my car seat <laughs> schedule break from our usual content because I not to be dramatic but thought I was gonna pass out if I didn't eat soon having my cereal banana you know usual combo with my pippin nut dark chocolate and Cornish sea salt almond butter honestly pippin nut need to not make this limited edition because this is not a supporting actress this is like the main character this needs to be a permanent fixture in their line because it's so good they've actually changed the packaging now it's like a glass little tub which i am super happy about nice and recyclable now that they've changed the packaging they need to just carry on producing this because honestly it's the best you guys dm me all the time to say that you're trying it as well it is honestly it is the best so yummy okay so i'm home and i thought i'd show you quickly what i picked up from h&m and the white company i am going to show you this on because you won't be able to see this i got this long black cardigan really not doing it justice but it's really gorgeous and i've come to the realization that my most successful outfits from last winter were black and i really love the fact that they pair really well with my gold jewelry so there are a couple of cardigans that i've had my eye on that have been like a minky color but i thought i'd pick this one up see how i get on with it but i think i'll get a lot of wear out of this even if it's with like just simple like leggings plain black top white trainers this will be such a staple in my autumn winter wardrobe and it's something that i don't have we then have a really thrilling selection of neutral socks which i thought would go really well with my converse the height of them will just poke out over the top and i thought like this cute like sagey green color would be really cute poking out over the top of the white ones as would the neutral kind of colors they're also cotton so they're just really nice for wearing around the house and then the super boring basic socks in a gray because I quite like gray. And then getting on to the more exciting stuff. I popped into the white company literally just to see if they had the fireside diffusers in stock. Spoiler alert, they did not. But hopefully they'll be online when this video goes live. You will have seen me talk about these in the last vlog. If you haven't watched it, then I will link it in the top corner of the screen. But firstly, there's a running theme today. I got the cashmere socks because my flooring here literally like annihilates socks. I get holes in them all the time. So new pair was needed. They're the best thing about this time of year. We then have a little hand sunny in the seychelles fragrance which i love i actually just lost one of my 
cowshed ones, which I am so sad about because they're my favorite hand sunnies, but I saw this and I was like, mm, love that fragrance. So I'm gonna get that out. And then I really treated myself with this. I'm really on like a candle moment at the moment, as you will have seen again in the last vlog, and I couldn't resist picking this up. This is one of my favorite fragrances and I've never actually had it in my house. I was talking to my friend about it the other day and it is just so good. I gave it a little smell today and it was better than I remembered. So I picked that up and it's a really gorgeous giant candle. Let me show you. Look at that. It is so big. I'm so excited to light this tonight. I think it's just going to work perfectly with all of the other fragrances like going on in the house. It's like a really nice soft citrusy vanilla scent. So really fresh but very like soft and sweet at the same time. That's all I got. I was quite restrained today because last night we actually booked a trip to London for my birthday and I'm so excited. So there's going to be probably a lot of shopping, a lot of food, but a lot of shopping as well. So kind of like saving myself for that because the stores in Brighton, like especially post-COVID, a lot of shops disappeared over the last year and really like there's not so much going on anymore and there's definitely like other places like London and just other cities like even Cardiff when we went I was like oh my god this mall has so many shops like this would be amazing for me to have like locally but it's very very small in Brighton and actually we lost a lot of shops over the past couple of years hence my like excitement about flannels opening up because we just need a bit more like the Selfridge is gone Topshop is gone Topshop is now like a vaccination center yeah we basically have Urban Outfitters H&M Zara a lot of underwear shops new looks gone <laughs> We have two H&Ms and a Primark and I think that's it. So yeah, not a lot going on there anymore. I actually like remember there being more than there actually currently is. So very sad about that because I love shopping for stuff in person. Like it's the best when you get to go and like actually have a feel for things and like have a good try on of things. Like I feel like having that try on in Zara of the few things that I've been like eyeing up recently was really, really helpful. But yeah, I'm going to show you what the cardigan looks like on now because it's so cute. So this is the cardigan. I actually thought that it would come up a lot larger on me. This is the one that I actually didn't get to try on because the H&M fitting room queue was long because they don't actually have, they have like one mirror in the entire shop i swear <laughs> it is the weirdest thing so yeah i think i could probably go up i got a small and it fits fine but i kind of wanted more of like an oversized feel and i think this would be a bit cooler if i went for like a medium maybe even a large if i wanted it to be like super like billowy so yeah what do we think i think maybe a size up would be good as well because there'd be a little bit more length to it i don't know it is really cute let me know what you guys think should i go up a size i know it's really hard to kind of see because it's an all black outfit but you can kind of tell it's just not super super baggy it's very like regular sized i would say so yeah let me know what you think should i go up a size or should i keep it like this Good morning everybody, it is Tuesday. I sound tired today, wow. I haven't really listened to myself this morning. I have spoken, but I haven't really like heard myself. And if I sound tired, it's because I am. I didn't really stop at all yesterday. So I came home, I had loads of work to finish off, had an upload to do, had to carry on doing my errands in the evening and I could feel the tiredness and I kind of knew what was coming. I ended up having two panic attacks and a set of night terrors. So I did not sleep. Poor Ryan has also not slept. I don't know if he was being woken up by me, but it was a lot. We've got little little shrimpy down here today, who is definitely also picking up on the energy today. So she is like on edge. So we are gonna take today very nice and slow. It's a very hot like day as well. I always find the heat like really factors into it as well. So yeah, we're gonna keep things nice and chill. I need to plow on with Depop stuff today. So really excited to get that up and running again for you guys. So I will link that if you wanna go and check it out. There should be a lot of new stuff on there. Fingers crossed by the time this video goes up. If not a lot, at least a few new bits. And I'm just gonna have one of those days, a bit like I did last week, where I take the opportunity to make the house like really nice, feel really fresh. I'm gonna do some washing, get all my candles on like I literally did last week. Oh my God, it's just gonna be a repeat. But yeah, I found that actually helped me so much. Like I was super stressed getting the house ready for my friend to come over and making it feel all lovely for her, but it actually changed my mindset so much and really zenned me out. And I repeated that process at the weekend, had all the candles on, it was smelling so great. 
great just felt really zen and relaxing so i'm gonna do that again today and just kind of have one of those days get on with my to-do list but yeah that's enough talking about it let's do it are you ready to smash today shrimpy are you ready you look really ready are you tired too because same Oh, she's so cute. I also forgot there was something I wanted to show you. You guys, I have finally filled the frames in my hallway and no, this isn't an actual like couples photo shoot. These are just photos from a wedding. We haven't gone like super extra. These are from the photo booth kind of thing that was at a wedding recently and you could download the photos without the little photo booth frames. So we decided to pop them in these little Ikea frames. I think they're from Ikea or Amazon. Yeah, really, really cute. Very, very happy with how they came out. Also, just wanted to quickly show you what I'm wearing today. We have real outfit on repeat vibes. You guys will have seen this before. I love this so much. It's from Free People. It's their little like waffle. I think it's called like cereal chiller. The waffle knit set. They're not a set actually, they're separate, but you've got the shirt and the shorts. If you get anything, you have to get the shirt so cute i've been wearing it so much recently it works really nicely if you're wearing like a top and leggings i could wear my white shorts from in the style under this that i love as well the shorts are great though they have pockets where are the pockets they're, they're really far around but they have pockets they're just really lovely and comfy and it's like super cash i love wearing it with like these little flats but i also love wearing it with converse so yeah this is an absolute winner for me my necklace is raimi carrie elizabeth jewelry and then i've got a bangle from olivia burton and then the in the fro a Javemba little chain pearl bracelet. And no earrings, I need to sort that out. Be right back. Okay, no one panic, crisis averted. We now have earrings. These are from Monica Vinida, and if you want a little discount code, I have one, so you can get, I think it's 20% off of these. a delicious mix of carbs on carbs we have vegan ravioli that i made the other night and then we have some olive bread which is so delicious and hopefully gonna help me keep my energy up because i am really not feeling too energetic today my brain is not working the creativity is not creating so fingers crossed bread fixes everything i mean bread does fix most things so very shiny and fresh today this is what i would look like if i didn't powder every day literally look like a waxwork oh my god my eyes are so watery it's so bright my eyes are also very watery because i've had basically no sleep again for a different reason this time sadly nala was really poorly last night so i was literally up every hour to every two hours with her and then when we were both getting some sleep we weren't really getting sleep because it was just so so warm the lack of aircon in the uk just means that like heat that isn't like hot in other countries is so so hot here and our houses are just built to like keep all the heat in and it's an actual i can't finish that sentence without swearing so i'm just not going to so today i'm actually switching my day around with tomorrow so my to-do list is swapping over because i can do everything i need tomorrow on no sleep but everything i needed to do today that i'm pushing to tomorrow i needed to be like well rested and like on it for so having a little switcheroo today i'm doing hair masking packing all of like the admin type stuff and all plants delivery down here which i'm also very excited about now this bit later we have the vets and then i'm gonna tan and do all of my like beauty things tonight so wash the hair mask out being one of those key things but i thought seeing as it is just like hideously hot today i would roll with just having wet hair which is keeping me very cool a hair mask in i've got the olaplex moisture mask which is so good my hair has because of the heat it's just been feeling very like frizzy like i haven't been able to control it none of my products have been like taming it so yeah, yesterday was a real write-off. I just ended up sticking my hair in a bun and going out for dinner. Literally was meant to get a takeout for dinner and then come home, so I looked like an actual slob. If anyone saw me out in Brighton, I really did look very cash. I went to my favourite pizza place. 
I got a doggy bag, I'm very happy about it. We actually ended up sitting in, so we're fully like in our comfy clothes, ending up sitting in because it took so long for us to get into town that once we got a parking space, we were like, we might as well just eat in and make a big thing out of this because <laughs> we had to literally fight for parking spaces. Everyone came down to Brighton yesterday, it was so busy. So yeah, my plan to eat pizza on the sofa and chill last night did not happen, but it was really, really lovely. And uh, yeah, God, this pizza is just so good. It's something that nobody needed, but I'm showing you anyway. This is my leftover dough and pizza. I honestly don't know if I can bring myself to eat that today if I'm honest though. I'm not sure. I'm not a leftovers kind of person. Good morning. Are you okay? She is being really funny. It's almost like she can see a ghost. Like there's something she keeps looking at that's not there and I'm not sure what it is. You need to go back to bed and rest. Hmm. It's okay. Taking you to the vets and they'll sort you out. Someone's been to the vets and I think she's feeling a little bit better. She's really perked up. Are you happy to be home? Oh, my baby in her special jacket. We're going for real zen vibes here this morning, people. The heat wave is gone. It is a gorgeous cloudy day. The Seychelles. White company candle is out and making my kitchen smell so nice already. Have my coffee, have my laptop. Flowers are blooming. This little one is waiting for a breakfast. Hi. Oh, you're so excited. How are you feeling today? Yeah, she's perked up. She um just keeps waiting, looking at the door because she knows Auntie Lauren's incoming any second. Right now, just very focused on that breakfast. Okay, let's get that for you. Are you excited? You don't look excited. Oh God. Wait. Okay. We also had a little cake delivery, which I am really excited about. And I'm very much looking forward to showing you because I've actually ordered this cake before for Ryan's birthday. And I don't think I got a chance to show you. And I was really excited to show you his cake because it is wheat free so like good for people that need gluten free it's also vegan as well spy cutter and squidge and i just love their cakes yeah i'm gonna open this up and show you quickly because i thought those of you that have like dietary requirements might find this one quite useful So this is how it arrives, so good. I don't want to speak too soon, but the last one was like perfect, like perfect condition. No, like nothing had happened to it. See, Lauren has arrived. <laughs> anyway, this is the cake. It comes in this really cute little tin. It's all like fully packaged so that in theory it does not move whilst being delivered. Are you ready? I actually think this one is better than Ryan's one. Like it looks even cuter. I think it has like more petals. I don't know, it looks so cute. They're all kind of like that handmade vibes that each one you get is like slightly different. Yeah, this one is gorgeous. It is basically a summer berry cake, but it's almost like a mix between lemon drizzle and a carrot cake, but with like some more like summer fruits in it. But yeah, it's that gorgeous, like kind of almost carrot cake consistency, which is delicious. And I just think this will please so many people. So yeah, that's the cake that I need to pack for my trip. I also need to fully pack for that trip today. Today is a busy one, I have packing to do things to film. Honestly, if I get everything on this to-do list done, I will be actually borderline shocked because <laughs> it's a very long list. just been 
pulling little pieces to pack into my suitcase for my trip. This is a personal trip, so I won't be vlogging it, guys. It will mostly be me in pyjamas, most likely. So, you know, we're keeping things cash here, so there won't be a lot to vlog. But I've got my new look over shirt, which works really well, over leggings and bodies. I've got four pairs of trainers down here one pair for every kind of outfit vibe the place that i'm going has like a little spa pool thing so i've got a few like bikinis and swim costumes and stuff like that we then have a selection of bodies the zara skirt which i love which will work really nicely with the converse a combo that has definitely divided people in the autumn outfits video i've got lots of pairs of leggings so well lots of pairs two pairs of leggings and then one pair of cycle shorts and then a pair of nude joggers which will work really nicely with this I might take another top that goes with that as well just to be safe got my white company pajamas this lovely zara black silky shirt which i haven't had a chance to wear yet but it will work so beautifully with leggings and then just like my black converse whatever trainers actually to be honest that'll be really nice I, this also works really nicely this is a zara cashmere jumper it works really well with these white mom jeans but also can work really well with leggings the white mom jeans i've got this like black crop top which you will have seen i think recently i've been wearing this combo quite a lot finally they are both out the wash at the same time so i'm really looking forward to potentially wearing that combo just as like a really chill one so yeah it's looking like quite a nice little capsule wardrobe pack my makeup in i think tomorrow morning i need to pick fragrances this is gonna be a difficult one i think i'm gonna go glossier always and then sleek suede because i'm loving that and then maybe yeah we'll go jimmy choo as well because i really love this one it's like a really lovely feminine floral scent it's like a perfect in between of not like a super like this is a very soft barely there everyday scent it just makes you smell really like clean and this is obviously very dark very noticeable perfect for nighttime or just if you want a really like strong iconic smell during the day like you want to be one of those people that gets asked what they have on them this is one of those fragrances and this is like that lovely in between where people are like oh you smell really good what is that but it's not like super dark so yeah i think i'm gonna take those three just to be really excessive i'm also going to be packing all the hair things because i'm gonna have to wash my hair whilst i'm away i've just started using this recently and this is like a heat protectant that you put on before you blow dry your hair very similar to like the l'oreal one that i used to use in like the early 2000s which i was obsessed with and so far so good i really like it i have a feeling as well that it's rumored to protect your hair and i don't quote me on this i need to research this myself but someone said that apparently it protects your hair right up until your next wash which if it does that is incredible like i said need to double check that and up until i do double check it i will be topping up with my spray heat protectant but if that does do that that is incredible my hair is actually getting to that stage where it's getting like very nice and long now but with that i do feel like i'm styling it more rather than putting it in a bun and i do need like real heavy duty like heat protectant so i'm hoping this does good things for my hair i've also been using this after i blow dry my hair on the first wash it keeps it really nice and like sleek so i haven't topped up today i literally did this last night blow dried my hair just roughly and then used this it's the ghd glide it's really good really nice and easy as well because it just kind of feels like you're giving your hair a brush but it's like straightening it and smoothing it yeah and i was really happy when i woke up this morning it just looks really like sleek i'm also packing my ghd helios hair dryer and then i've left the curlers out because i'll use them tomorrow morning but i'll also be taking my ghd curlers too so i'm just gonna put all of my shoes in the boot because i don't think they're gonna fit in here so i just finished filming a reel and there was such a throwback product in the reel you guys some of you will already know look at this this is nars corella i have not used this in years i know some of you will remember back in the day like if you go through old thumbnails and i'm wearing a red lip i am wearing this this used to be my absolute favorite thing to wear on my lips especially this time of year it feels so weird wearing it again and my hair is like basically the same back when i used to wear it as well so this feels very very odd such a weird throwback so does anyone remember this let me know in the comments anyway for now i am back at my little editing station my white company candle is burning away i'm trying to get it to like level out before i blow the candles out so that it like burns super evenly so fingers crossed that doesn't have long left i'm also going to have 
some lunch in a second i'm really excited because i got sent some all plants meals you guys will remember i've talked about these before i'm actually working with them on a little like thing on instagram but i actually have a few left over from the job and i'm so excited because it means i get to eat one of these for lunch really not sure which one to go for this one is very good we actually had these for dinner last night it was so good i'm really excited to try this cheesy broccoli gnocchi it's all like plant-based and oh, it's just so good i also have defrosted this oh my god you guys there is nothing that I miss more. Actually, there's a few things that I miss, but I really miss cheesecake after being vegan. So their cheesecakes always really excite me. And I think that is going to be it from me today. I really am not going to be up to much more apart from literally editing. All very boring. This week has just not gone to plan. There was so much fun stuff that I wanted to do with you guys. It has just really not worked out. We all have those weeks sometimes. I didn't get to do any of the beauty stuff that I wanted to do with you. I haven't done any of my like beauty prep for this trip at all yet. I'm gonna end up wearing my fake tan in the car up there. It's gonna be so tragic. Yeah, so I need to do like my eyebrows, sort out all of my facial hair, I need to tan. I did wash my hair last night, thank God. That is the one thing that I have done. But yeah, sadly, I have to crack on with some editing. So that is not gonna happen. If you would like to see an updated beauty routine, do let me know. I'll do that in a future vlog. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching as always. And for all the love on the recent videos, there have been so many comments. I'm trying to get back to them as and when I have a moment, but thank you all so much. I'm glad you're all loving them. I hope you enjoyed this one too, as scattered as I feel it has been it's probably fine once we edit it but yeah hopefully I will have my shiz together by the time I'm back with you next week I'm looking forward to it I'll see you all then love you loads bye love you loads bye that's not how I sign off love you bye